Hi, my name is Alicia Evans. My name is Erin. Hey everyone, I'm Alan. Hi, I'm Claire. I first got connected to young adults. It took a while because I was one of the, I was the type of person to just be in and out every Sunday, just in and out, listen to the message, worship, yes, great, out, gone. And Ben preached a sermon on the front end pain and the back end pain. So the front end pain is when you have to show up to group and it's just real awkward because you don't know anyone and you don't know where the snacks are or you don't know where the bathroom is and just all these like, it's just awkward. But then the back end pain is that you didn't do that. And so when something goes really wrong, you don't have anyone to reach out to. You don't have um, friendships or community that you can lean on during those times. I'm like, okay, I should, I listen, I'm like, I, I'll do it, I'll do it. And it just really, really hit me of like, that's what I'm gonna have to do. And I'm gonna have to like, just stick out through that front end pain because that's gonna go away. So since a lot of people in San Francisco um, don't have family here, people kind of make their own family, which is a um, friends, family combination. Um, I have an awesome family who um, host each other over for dinner, we do life together, um, and even beyond that, there's just different friend groups that we have, um, and it's really cool just to see how um, everyone here has made their own family with each other. All of my family is still back on the East Coast in New Jersey, and so I think having people to share the ups and downs and uh, the victories and the hardships of life is really helpful and important. I had a lot of anxiety just being in front of people and talking in front of people and the idea of being dunked in water in front of a whole bunch of people was not thrilling for me so it took me a while to actually go for um, baptism. I end up telling um, people at the young adults, even people I didn't know <laughs> in the women's group came up to me like, Alicia, thank you for sharing, you should definitely do it. <laughs> and just, it just helped me so much. Tim Keller has a quote that says, to be loved but not known is comforting but superficial. To be known and not loved is our greatest fear, but to be fully known and truly loved is a lot like being loved by God. It all kind of rolls up into this bigger picture of like, if I'm feeling fully known by another human, um, just how much more does the Lord already like already know and already have that like deep, deep love for me and know me so innately. I mean, I know in a community of 600-ish people, it can be a little bit difficult to um, form a deep relationship with every single one of those people. Um, but joining groups gives you the opportunity to build those deeper relationships. If you're looking for people to pray for you, if you're looking for um, people to connect with, if you're looking for people to cheer you on while you're trying to go through school or find a job or find a place to stay. People who are willing to ask the hard questions and who I can ask the hard questions to also. If you're looking for food and community and uh, you know people who are genuine and kind and awesome, uh, Epic Young Adults is your place. So whether it's celebrating the good times or the bad times, um, I think where the scripture says rejoice who, with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn or weep with those who weep, um, I see that lived out tremendously here. If you come, we'll feed you.